Hi everybody, how are you doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you don't know me, my name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to my channel. So, you know, over Christmas, it got me thinking, I haven't been buying any plants because to be honest, it's winter. I don't know about anybody else and I would be curious to know this, but a lot of plant shops just don't really have anything, you know, cool and unique in at the minute because it's kind of off season, I would guess. So I'm kind of on a no buy until spring-ish. Whenever, I, to be honest, whenever I find anything worth buying, I will buy it. But generally speaking, I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to cultivate the plants that I have keep them happy until then, until the good season comes around. But that doesn't stop me from eyeing up some things that I would like to buy. So I thought I would do this video because I don't know if that's, this is the type of thing that people do, but I thought I would just kind of share with you some of the plans that I'm hoping to buy in 2019. I don't know how many is on this list. 13 plants on this list. I was trying to keep it to 10. That hasn't happened. Classic Kaylee. I will try and insert pictures where necessary. I will tell you what I know about them because I haven't necessarily fully researched these plants, but I can tell you they're all kind of on the rarer side. Um, I made the decision a while ago over Christmas. It kind of got me thinking. I'm getting a bit full up on plants. Uh, I don't have much space left for them. I am planning on buying a shelf from Ikea in maybe springtime when I'm gonna get some of these plants, so I will have more space. Um, but until such time, I'm going to try not to buy any new plants. So without further ado, I will share with you the best I can some of the plants I'm looking forward to buying in 2019. Some of them are more rare than others. Some of them I would argue are just a little bit uncommon. So I've mentioned this before. The first plant on my list is the Monstera Albo Borsigiana variegata. So basically a variegated Monstera. I already have a variegated Monstera at the minute. It's only a little baby, but the one I have downstairs is known as a Thai constellation, which is a much larger Monstera, often considered a true Monstera. Um, because they're the ones that get the huge holes in the leaves and the leaves are like, you know, two, three foot long. I kind of wanted it, one, because it was more dwarf, so I'll be able to keep it a little bit, you know, fuller. I won't have to trim it as much. From what I've seen on the internet, the variegation on the Albo is a lot whiter and a lot more solid than the variegation on a Thai constellation. The variegation on a Thai constellation is a little bit more speckled. I wouldn't say it was full white, it was maybe slightly off-white, more of a cream colour, whereas the, the Albo variegata is more of a white variegation. Second on my list, and I've only seen these on Instagram a tiny little bit, and I had the chance to buy one not so long ago on Etsy because someone was selling one and I didn't do it and it was cheap. I should have bought it. I didn't do it. I regret this very much. But it is a Maranta silver band. I don't know the, you know, botanical name or anything. I'll put a photograph on the screen the best I can. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything necessarily special. I wouldn't say as far as a Maranta goes, if anybody doesn't know. I own a Maranta already. The tri-color one, the, basically the one with the red veins. I own a, well, a couple of that one but I just really fancied getting this silver band because it just looks so unique and beautiful. And I haven't really seen anybody talk about it. I haven't seen anybody on YouTube that seems to own one. They seem really uncommon. Um, so I'm desperate to get my hands on one of those. Where am I gonna put it? I don't know, but I really, really want one. Um, so I'm kind of on the hunt for one of those. Let me know what you think about the Miranda Silver Band or if you'd heard of it before, because I feel like not many people have even heard of it. Like it's not a plant that's mentioned. What a plant that is mentioned, however, and it's next on my list, so I may as well mention now, is the Maranta lemon and lime. I know, you know what it is? I watch videos of many different plant people, but a lot of, on the American side, you guys have a lot of lemon lime Marantas, so you probably don't think they're that uncommon, but honestly, in the UK, I can't find them anywhere. I've never found them. So I guess the lemon lime isn't rare, but it is over here. So maybe that's a little bit of a cheat. I'll try and keep this moving the best I can. Next on my list, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> if you know me, you'll know I love my Calathea and I love my Alocasia plants as well. So I have found, I found what is called an Alocasia dragon scale, not silver dragon, that is a different plant. I'll put a picture here. This is an Alocasia silver dragon. This is an Alocasia dragon scale. I think I may find that on the internet. I don't really know how common or uncommon that is because I found it on the internet a few weeks ago and nothing has been sold on the internet right now. In addition to that, I have another Alocasia and that is the Alocasia Tiny Dancer. This one looks cute. I think I can justify it a lot more because it is quite small. Obviously they can grow quite large, but generally speaking, it's a much smaller, more floaty 
compact alocasia. Just looks really pretty and delicate. It's quite obvious when you see the photograph of it why it's called a Tiny Dancer. Let me know again if you have one, if you know where they're sold, anything like that. Really curious to know or if you're willing to sell one to me. But yeah, that's another alocasia on my list. I think I have one more alocasia. Yeah, one more alocasia and that is the alocasia black velvet. Again, really, really beautiful. I don't really have anything with uh, dark, super, super dark foliage. So I'd really love to give that a go. I don't know how I'm gonna find that. I will find it though. I probably just have to order plants on the internet and just go through the stress of not knowing if my plant is okay in the mail again because we went through that with the Thai constellation. Next on the list, oh my God, I think I'm most excited about this plant because I don't know, I've never owned one and I just, I've, every time I say it, I'm just like, wow, that's so beautiful. But it is the Anthurium clarinervium, clarinervium. It's, I think it's an aroid, is it? I'm not sure. It's kind of got these heart-shaped leaves and the veins are really prominent in the leaf. It's just it's beautiful plants. Very, very structural looking plants, but I actually saw one of these on Instagram the other day and the flowers on them, imagine like the, the bloom on a peperomia, only it was kind of like curly. It looked a little bit like some sort of tentacle on the plant. And I just thought that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So I really, 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 really want one of these anthuriums. I know for a fact that my local plant store actually sold these last year. Maybe that's not that uncommon. I find them to be very uncommon though, these anthuriums, at least where I am in the world right now. Moving swiftly on to the next plant on my list, which is the Cecestis mirabilis. Okay, this one looks rare. I, I really think of all of the plants on this list, this could be the most rare. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. I think it's another aroid. It's kind of like, from what I remember, the stems are like super, super thin and the pattern, the pattern on the leaf, it's like, if we went to Buckingham Palace and we stared at one of the Queen's carpets, the patterns all over the leaf are like some sort of beautiful tapestry. And it's one of these plants where you look at it and you think, is that really what nature came up with? Like, it just blows my mind. It's like the same thing when you see insects that disguise themselves as like other things, like leaves on plants and stuff. For some reason, that just blows my mind. Cecestis mirabilis. I don't know where I'm gonna find that. I've seen some on the internet, quite expensive. I'm not in a super hurry to get that one. I think it might be a higher light plant and I need to make sure that I can actually house these plants. Very, very rare on the list. Not sure if and when I will get it necessarily, where it's going to go, all the rest. The next plant on my wish list is, I don't really know the type that I'm gonna go for, but I've just seen a few and I think, you know what, that looks beautiful, I will have that. Um, and it is just plain and simply a variegated alocasia of some description. I'm not sure what type, again, that I would want, but I've seen a few different ones. I think I've seen alocasia co coculata, I think it is, on the internet. A few of those are variegated, they look very beautiful. The variegation is very big and patchy. I quite fancy myself one of those. They would be really, really nice to have. The next plant on my list is the plant that basically I'm kind of not gonna get because I wanna wait till I have a house and I wanna wait till I can mount it on the wall, which means that this plant on my list is none other than the staghorn fern. The stag is my favorite animal. I think they're so beautiful, so majestic. Like, I don't know why anyone would want to shoot them. It just, it breaks my heart. They are the most beautiful animals. If I had a Patronus, I think it would be a stag. I love them so much. They're absolutely beautiful. And I love the fact that I could own a plant that would remind me of that. I'm pretty sure you can have these plants, you know, not hanging from a wall and you can have them in a pot. But I, in the spirit of not plant hoarding, I really want to save myself. Just wait and have that, you know, that one thing when I get my house and I think, yes, I've done it. There's my staghorn fern. There it is, it's huge, it's beautiful. I waited for it, it was worth the wait. I want to have that, I want to have that sacred plant. Next plant on the list, oh my God, I need space for this one. I don't know if I'll ever have the space, but I think I might have to make space or I may have to cull a plant of mine that's maybe more common than I could easily pick up another one of at a later date. For example, I could cull my giant peace lily that I have uh, in favor of this. And this is the Philodendron Gloriosum. I've been doing a lot of looking into philodendrons recently and I, I think I'm getting into philodendrons quite a lot, actually. There's some really beautiful philodendrons out there. They look so gorgeous, but the way they grow does appear to be kind of like out from the pot. So I believe you need quite a lot of space for these. I don't think you could grow them and keep them compact. I think you'd have to really let them spread out. So for that reason, although it's really right on the top of my list, I think I would have to cull, you know, another plant and make space for that. I'm willing to do that, to be honest. I don't care what hate I get from that. 
I'm willing to do that. The next plant on my list, second to last plant on my list, since I can't have my staghorn fern yet, I would love to own a fern. Now, the only fern that I actually happen to own is this beautiful little thing here, my asparagus fern. I know already that I have good requirements for ferns. I know this is an easy fern, I think. So the fern that I would like to own, there are a few, but the fern I have selected for its uniqueness, and I think it's it's uncommon. Um, there is some on Amazon at the minute, but I'm holding off on buying them just to see if I can get a better price. And that is the crocodile fern. They kind of have, I think they're similar to like a bird's nest fern in the way that the leaves, like the formation of the leaf. But if you look on the leaf, it literally has crocodile scales. Yes, if it's unusual, I'll have it. So that's on my list. Obviously I'm providing pictures of all these plants, but Honestly, have a Google. It's just, it's beautiful. It's so unique. Don't know how rare that necessarily is, but I really, really want one. The last plant on my list isn't actually necessarily for me, although I would probably keep one. I'm not really into orchids, okay? But I have seen this orchid online and I don't even know how this is possible. Like it looks photoshopped. I will insert a picture of it now, but it's called the Mac Macodes Petola Jewel Orchid. The leaves are like, they have lightning up the leaf and it's just so beautiful. As I say, this plant isn't necessarily for me. I may keep it, but it's actually for my, my boyfriend's mum. She has quite a few orchids, quite common orchids, but if I ever find this orchid, I would love to buy it and I would love to give it to her. Yeah, Macaudes Patola Jewel Orchid, beautiful. And that is the end of my list. That concludes my plant wish list for 2019. Of course, that list will probably grow in size in the next three weeks. I don't even know. Keep following me on Instagram. I will probably start putting pictures on my store of things that I want. I'm sorry I couldn't actually show you any plant porn because obviously this is a wish list. I don't own these plants yet. But by God, if I get any of these, the plant haul is going to be so good. So mind blowing. So I'm really excited. So hopefully this will produce some really good plant hauls. I'm already excited. If you know any good places where I can buy these plants, please let me know. If you have any other suggestions on rare plants that you think I would either be good at keeping or things you think I would like, any plants that you're looking for this year, both rare, uncommon, totally common, but for some reason you can't get your hands on them. Maybe you're going to try a different type of plant. Maybe you're going to explore succulents a little bit. I'm not there yet, I'm not ready. As per usual, if you like this video, please leave a like. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a good holiday if you're still on holiday. Bye.